right, you guys, so got a couple packages in the mail here. So first off, we'll open up this one. I got a new radio for the Corolla. So thank you again for iDoing, one and send me out a new radio for the Corolla. So I already have a touchscreen radio in there now, but I want to upgrade one to one that has a lot more better features on it. So I got the new radio and then also too here, I ordered some new radio trim bezels. So I don't know, hopefully these will fit good. I ordered these, these are like a China knockoff one. Um, I only paid like 30 bucks for both of them. So versus trying to buy just one of these on eBay that's used was like 30 something dollars for just one of them plus shipping. So this was like 35 bucks or something with free shipping. But one thing, I did get my old one here. Um, and you can see the colors are not the best. So I'm hoping that I won't notice it as much and it won't drive me crazy. But I got these two, so I will complete the radio install as well. So opening up the radio, let's see what we get. We should get everything we need to make this plug and play. So we got a couple bags of harnesses, some pry tools, antennas. And then the radio itself. So, again I believe it's about a 9 inch screen. Very similar to what I have in there now, but way better quality than the one I have in there. So, let's hop in the car and let's take out the old one. And I also forgot to mention too. Um, if you guys are interested in picking up one of these, um, go check out iDoing on Instagram. Also, they have a AliExpress store that's where you can order this from. Um, but if you're unsure which one to order, I'll be leaving a link down below. Also, I'll put a link to their Instagram right here. And you can hit them up and show them a picture of your radio. And they'll tell you exactly which one you need. Alright, so hopping into the car. I'm going to bring all my stuff in here. And the radio. So... As you can see, I already have one in here. Pretty identical to this, but it's nowhere near the quality of that. So we're just gonna pop off. Pretty much, we just gotta pop off the trim pieces here. Um, obviously, I got one off. So we'll just pop this off. It's easier to just start from the bottom here. And there's two pieces here. Try to pry towards you, like so this way. Don't pry, like, don't try to twist it. They go straight in, and you can see the clips, they just plug straight in that way. So, and then same with this top piece. These are kind of hard to take off because this is almost the reason why I broke mine. Um, there's no easy way to get to it, except for kind of just lift up your upper glove box and just kind of pull on it a little bit. And then try to make sure you pull straight out again. So. And then once we get all that taken care of, then we'll pull this off. This is also on here with clips. Um, easier to just pull it up, pull towards you. I'm pretty much pulling the whole radio out. Then this, and then you can just set that aside or I'll probably, I'll probably unplug it in a second. And then if you're just taking out the stock radio, you'll probably see a couple bolts. 10 millimeter bolts that you'll have to loosen up and then take it in here. These radios just literally slide in to some notches in here. So I'm just gonna take that out real quick and then I'm gonna have to start unplugging everything on the back here. So let me do that real quick and then we'll get a closer look when I start putting the new one in. Also too, on this, I'm gonna show you guys how to wire up your um, backup camera and your amp if you have an amp and subwoofer. So, cause I already have mine installed on the old one. But pretty much, I mean, they're not plug and play for like a backup camera and a amp, but they are, they already give you the wires, but you just have to find them and then crimp them together like I did. So I'm about to cut my connection so that way I can pull out the old one and then we'll try to match up everything on there so that way we can plug everything into here.
old radio right here. Um, pretty simple to install and everything like that. Um, you got your main wire harness right here that comes with the car. I mean, that just plugs into the corresponding plugs on the unit. You have your antenna. This is for your radio if you want it or not. Automatic is super easy to plug in, so mine as well. And those are really the only things that you gotta add. But then I'll be showing you right here are my backup camera. This is for the video in and then power to the backup camera. And then this is my amp turn on wire right here. And then this is my amp um, like stereo so that way it can connect left and right and everything like that on the stereo. So let's take a look at this new one we have here. Like I said, it's going to be pretty much same thing. And what's nice about iDoing is they don't really have all these um, harnesses and everything. Everything plugs directly into the back of the radio. And then you have a lot of these are like external things for USBs, everything like that. And then all your GPS antennas and 4G antennas if you want to hook that up or not. So, but I won't be using any of these because I'm just going to be strictly using Apple CarPlay. So... I won't need to use any of those, but if you want to have offline maps and put an SD card in here and get um, like internet connection anywhere you go, so I believe one. I think one of the harnesses I believe you can actually put an SD card or not an SD card, uh, a SIM card that you can actually get, so that way you can get um, like 4G connection without having a hotspot. Looking at the old radio, you can see very thin profile everything like that which is nice and great but it that just shows that like there's not a lot of quality put into it and the amp and everything that's installed in here is not that good versus the i doing radio way bigger i mean just the screen itself is almost as big as that so and then it has the like computers and amplifier and everything into this so it's gonna just show you it's a way better quality than the cheap one that i used to have all right so opening up everything I mean, they give you plenty of things to do everything you're going to want to do. Um, I'm pretty sure this is for your LTE data thing. This is a spare USB if you want that. A couple other connectors that doesn't look like my car has, but probably a higher end trim Corolla might have. You got your GPS antenna right here. A microphone if you want to hook up an external microphone. The radio already has a microphone on it. It's like up in the corner here. I'm just gonna use it like that for now, unless if it's no good quality, then I'll switch over to it. Um, then you got all your um, aux inputs if you need that. This will be for the sub. Then looks like a Wi-Fi antenna and also your external mic if you wanted to hook that up. Um, and then this has the camera in, uh, reverse accessory power amp control power so it has everything that I'm gonna need for my unit in here so let's start getting everything all situated I'll probably start crimping all this stuff together in here first so that way I just have a harness that I just got to plug into the radio when I'm ready and then okay yeah then also like I said this comes with two USBs on my last radio I drilled a hole in here. Um, it comes through the back of the radio somewhere. And I just ran the two USBs into there. I mean, you can run them anywhere you want. You can run them in here, you can run them there, you can run them all over the place. You can run them down here if you want to. So I just chose to put them up in the upper glove box for right now, just to get them out of the way. But I also have them. It's nice to have them. So let me do that real quick. Let me start plugging everything in. All right. So. First, I'm going to get all this wired up. Um, the reverse is already pretty much there. Just got to strip it and crimp it on. Oh, that's the amp wire. This one. And then we'll take it reverse. That should be the reverse power. Oh, 
All right, so I got the reverse wired in. And this should be where the camera plugs in. Now I have to get my amp wire. So these little caps just come off. And the amp control wire is just a wire just to turn on your amp so it's not staying on while the car's off. Alright, give everything a tug test. Alright, so that should be the wiring harness for my backup camera. An amp. And then this. I'm going to take my aux left and right. Aux right. Aux left. I don't think it matters which one you plug it into. There and there. Alright, so. That's plugged in. So all we gotta do is just plug everything into the, Oh, our USB ports. Like I said, just gonna run these to the glove box. And I don't know if they give you that third USB, but I think some Corollas come stock with one here. I don't know if that's what that USB is for, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna run just the two. All right, so now we, like I said, I'm not gonna use that one. I'm not gonna put in the, oh, the Wi-Fi antenna, everything like that, so. I believe you're going to need this for Wi-Fi, so I'll plug this one in. This one is... And just to let you guys know, there's not one that's duplicated on here, so there aren't any that are the same, so you can't mix them up. And some of them are a little hard to press in but it's not too bad oh and they also show you too i didn't even notice they show you where some of these plug into i forget the antenna Should be everything, then we'll plug in the stock harness. And I believe one of these do not get used. I think it's this one that doesn't get used. I'm not exactly sure why. It wasn't used on my last one either. But there's no spot on here to plug into. But it didn't seem like I was missing any functions of the radio. Alright, that should be everything. Just kind of tuck some stuff back. Let's turn on the car and let's see what we got. And this radio should also come with um, steering wheel controls. Should work with your backup camera. Um, I mean, if you guys got any questions, leave them down below. I'll definitely be able to help you answer them. And this is running the latest version of Android, so I don't know what it is, 10 point something. I believe that's the latest version it's running. 
Very quick, fast. Um, you got that noise. General. Oh, my volume control seems to be working right now, so that's a plus. But I'm trying to figure out... Okay, found it. So, there was a keypad tone right there. Let's see, yes, yeah, so CarLink 2.0, should be wireless CarPlay. I'll have to get my phone real quick and try that out. I guess let's try the radio. Yeah, they're all the same station. Alright, radio seems to be working fine. So let's turn that down. You got Bluetooth, you can plug in a USB to get your own music on here, radio. Um, the offline maps, I guess they're already loaded on here, so you would, you don't even have to do anything. Except to make sure you have your GPS antenna plugged into it. All the same thing about just moving your thing around. You can switch it to driver, co-pilot, rear, all. Surround. I don't exactly know what this is, but you got it. Base enhancement, base filter. Oh, I gotta check my backup camera. Um, I've been trying to mess around with this radio to get my reverse working, and I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Because when I go to put in reverse, it doesn't sense that it's going into reverse, and I'm not sure why. But I don't know what it is, because I'm pretty sure I got everything right. I think there might be something wrong with the camera in, because I can switch over to the front camera. So, which I don't have a front camera on this car right now. But I switched it over to it, and now I'll go find it in the settings here. And now when I go put it in reverse. Huh. I don't think I got it plugged in good. Hold on. So, like I was trying to show you earlier, I was messing with some of the settings and I messed it up. But now I have it on the front camera, and I'll put my car in reverse. And it senses that it's in reverse. And then I can take it out of reverse. And now there's no power to it. And so now it doesn't think there's a camera there anymore. So I got everything wired up properly. But it's just not working properly. Or it's not sensing me going into reverse on the normal radio. And I don't know if there's a setting for it or not. But I'm just going to keep going. So I got everything good. I checked my sub and amp. That's all working fine. Um, then I also... You got wireless CarPlay, so phones here, nothing else, nothing is attached or anything like that. It's built into the radio, you can just go to CarLink 2.0, and then you have, you have Apple CarPlay. So it's very fast, quick, easy, I mean this is like one of the best radios ever. I mean, I don't have no problems, I have one of my Camry over there too. I've had that in for almost six months now, and I have no issues. The screen quality on these is really, really nice. I mean, it's very crisp. It's very like just high definition compared to my old unit. So like I said, that reversing should work. I'm not sure why. I just sent them over a message to see if I can get anything else figured out. But I don't know if I just have a bad video in or if there's a setting. And I was, like I said, I was looking for some settings and I don't know, I don't see anything I see lots of stuff for backup camera, but I don't know exactly what I'm missing, so um, that's all good. Like I said, I didn't wire up the antennas because I don't need it because I'll be using Apple CarPlay 99% of the time. So now another thing, we got steering wheel controls, so if I turn the volume up and down, it works fine. Um, that usually works straight from the factory, sometimes it doesn't, and then like your, vol your next thing and everything like that um, probably won't work. So what you usually would do is, I don't know if it's in this settings, yeah, you'll go to general steering wheel settings, and then you get this popped up, 
showing you um, to correspond a button to whatever you want on the steering wheel, which is very cool because then you can customize it and get anything you want to work. So first thing, like I said, I got the volume there, and then you got the next button. Um, I just tested it to make sure it works. So then the other thing that you do is it tells you to please select learning function button. So you'll press the button on the steering wheel. So press the button on the steering wheel. So, or yeah, that's what it'll ask you to please hold and press the button on the steering wheel you want to learn. So I'll press the back button here. And now it says, please select learning feature. And then I'll select the back button right there. So now it learned that. And now if you want, you can change mode to do whatever you want, to go to the radio, Bluetooth, whatever. Or you can have it, um, which I'll probably be doing in the future, I'm gonna wire up a front camera. And you can just press a button on the steering wheel and it'll pull up the front camera for you and I'll do that soon too. So um, you can do your, your voice buttons or your answer call, decline call thing and so on and so forth so this does work with steering wheel controls and now we can go to Apple CarPlay and just show you that you can turn the volume up and down still and then you can go back a song forward a song all on the steering wheel so finally I have steering wheel controls on this car I've been waiting so long I've had this car for almost two years so having steering wheel controls is going to be an amazing feature going to finish putting everything in um so the radio literally just sits in to just some it doesn't really even clip in but it just sits in and then everything else around it clips it in so you'll take your ac vents push them in and then i gotta get my new pieces so we can put those in too i mean everything seems fine i don't know if the clips are just newer so they're harder to press in Okay, they do fit, they're just really tight. So, I mean, if you guys are looking to get a new set, oh, I forgot to put on the other one. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can still put this on. Okay, yeah, if you look, you can kind of see there's a color difference and they don't quite line up perfectly, but I don't know. Maybe in the future I'll buy an OEM one, but for now, I got these cheap China ones, so. Like I said, I think it's just the clips are very new, so they're very hard to just. Okay, I got it to go in now, so. They fit good. I mean, they're tight, but they fit. They are just, like I said, they are different color, slightly. I don't even know if you'll really notice it that much. All right, so diving into the radio a little bit more, I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on this radio so I can show you guys everything that it comes with. This is a home screen. Like I said, you can get offline maps that are already preloaded, the radio, date and time. Like I said, it comes, you can get, you can download music onto it or you can get a USB and then plug it into it and listen to music that way or you got Bluetooth, which is good to have as well. Um, then you can go to the apps and you got plenty of like Android apps. Like I said, you got access to the Play Store and you can download pretty much anything from the Play Store onto here. Uh, and we got YouTube, video player, everything you need. Um, then I was showing you, you can hook up a front camera to this if you want to. Um, so that way you can get a front and rear camera, almost a 360 view on the car. Uh, then my favorite thing, CarLink 2.0 or wireless Apple CarPlay. Like I said, this comes built in with wireless Apple CarPlay, very quick, and it will auto boot to your, your phone as soon as you turn on the ignition, it'll auto boot to CarPlay, so that way you're not even trying to have to navigate and find it or whatever. You can turn that setting on in the app before you log in to your phone and get everything hooked up but 
is where I'm going to be most of the time. And it's just nice, normal Apple CarPlay. You got your maps, everything like that on here. So it's amazing to have. And there's not many, this car didn't come with any features. So like there's nothing here that you're, like say like the Camry for instance, it already had a touchscreen radio. And in the touchscreen it had some settings like for your headlights and everything like that. This one doesn't come with any of that because the car doesn't have that option to actually change any of that. So it's really nice. You can pull down. Like I said, this is pretty much a full Android tablet on on your radio. So I mean, you can download. You got Google Chrome, everything like that. But oh, then also too, you got your equalizer. You can change it, get everything tweaked the way you want it to. Also too, the sound quality on this radio sounds way better. There's like a lot more deeper bass on this as well. So it's really nice to have that. Um, you can adjust it. I got my sub and everything hooked up to it. It works perfectly fine that way. So you can, like I said, change. There's plenty of different things to change on here. And you can move it like a normal car. You can move it left and right, side to side, everything like that. Um, but hey, if you guys got any questions, leave them down below. If I didn't go over whatever you're looking for. Um, but I tried to go over as much as I can volume like I said volume works on here Then also works on your steering wheel controls if you have it um, What else is there to go over I think pretty much everything's done you can hook this up to Wi-Fi if you want to All right guys, so this has been about a week now since I installed this probably a little bit more than a week But I've figured out my backup camera. I got it working I got it working good now so um, the problem with that I had everything wired good I don't I didn't have a plug plugged in correctly or all the way on the back so I got that all finished and it's working good and I've been using Apple CarPlay wireless Apple CarPlay it's been amazing so I have no problems or complaints about that this radio has been really quick I mean it boots up like within a few seconds and Apple CarPlay takes maybe another like five ten seconds after the boot up so it's very quick have no complaints all right here it is fully installed all cleaned up looking good i um, got my bezels on there so they look much more complete over here but it's a very nice clean radio but with that being said you guys thank you guys so much for watching um if you guys enjoyed this video or if you have any questions don't forget to leave them down below smash that like button and i'll see you guys next time